Hello everyone, Deluxe here. Welcome to my first ever video for Gears of War 5. Today, I'm going to be talking about the multiplayer viewing experience of Escalation 2.0. We're coming hot off the gameplay today on E-League, featuring eight of the best teams in Gears of War in the world playing for the first time on Escalation 2.0. I'm going to talk about the spectator mode, what I see, what I think needs to be improved, and then maybe towards the end of the video, we'll talk a little more in depth about the general feel of the game so far. So without further ado, I'm going to kick it off right here with the spectator mode. So Gears of War spectator mode, you'll notice a pretty familiar look. We had spectator mode in Gears of War 4, and coming back in 5, it looks very familiar. A lot of the elements are the same. Some new things have been added, which I'm going to touch on right now, and what I think needs to be changed. The first thing I will say that stuck out to me is the player life count. Now with Gears of War 5 multiplayer, they introduced a new concept to the game of a life pool for players, a five life pool. Instead of having unlimited respawns, you now have to play for your life uh, much more carefully and really use your brain a lot more than you had in Gears of War 4. Now, the number of lives each player had is featured right here on their characters. And yes, as you can see, the number is very small. It's hard to read and... It's a big element of the game now. It's a big element, a big part of the game, knowing how many lives each player has left, especially for a viewer coming in. It's one thing for a player, because you can see that number a little bit easier when you're in-game, when you're playing, but for a viewer coming to the stream, not to be able to read how many lives each player has clearly, uh, it really it makes it tough to kind of get fully into the game. So my first change for the spectator mode would be to increase either the size, position, something with that spectator uh, mode where you can see the player lives much clearly. My idea would be, because a lot of people are saying that it could go here under the uh, weapons next to the gamer tag, but I think you need to have that space for people who might have longer gamer tags that might not fit um, the whole thing in there. My recommendation would be actually put that life, life pool right here where the percentages are. So the percentages, if you don't know, uh, shows you how much damage each player has on them by percentages on their characters. I don't think personally that that is a, uh, a bigger thing as opposed to the life count. And I don't find myself often too many times looking at that number because the fights are so quick. You know, you get into a shotgun fight, one or two shots, you're dead. So it's kind of like I'm not watching the scoreboard and looking at the percentage and being like, he's really hurt because by the time I look, that guy's probably dead anyway. So I would say to remove the percentages from the spectator uh, mode, and add in a bigger, more prominent life count. Maybe in white, maybe bold, highlighted, something where you can clearly see because it's a big, big factor in, uh, in Escalation 2.0. So that's number one with it, and now I'll move on to number two. At first, when I came in, I saw the inverse omen. I didn't quite know what to think about it. I didn't think it was game-breaking, but I wasn't sure if it was good or bad. Um, but the more I watch Gears of War Escalation today, I kind of got used to it. Now, the one thing I'll say in the beginning is that it does take getting used to and that it does obscure some of the screen when the player's full red. Now, that's okay for a, a player's point of view, but coming from, again, from a spectator, for a new viewer, to have a lot of that screen blocked might not be the best option. Again, I don't think it's a big, big deal or game-breaking or the, the biggest glaring thing on the... Uh, on the board here, but I do think maybe an option to either change the spectator omen to the old omen or reduce it how the spectator sees it. It's fine for players. Like I said, players, inverse omen, I don't have a problem with it. I don't have a problem with the life count numbers for players because they can see it, I think, pretty good. But just from a viewer's point of view, from a spectator point of view, that's what I like to see. Mini map you see pulled up there real quick. That's pretty much the same. Um, overhead map. The overhead map is pretty much the same as we've seen in Gears or 4. I don't think it's much of a difference. I don't think it's bad. I think it's pretty much what we need and it does its job. Now referring to maps also, again, we see now we have a mini map activated here on the spectator mode. A lot of people requested this in Gears War 4. I, myself, being one of them at one point. But, as I watch now on Gears of War 5 on Escalation, much like the percentages for players, I don't find myself looking at that minimap too much. Like, I'm watching the fights, I'm watching the rotations, you know, I got a feel for the map. After a round or two, you kind of get the layout of the map, you know where players are, you don't really need that minimap there. I don't think it's too helpful for viewers, and it, it's really necessary. So, my opinion for the minimap in the bottom right corner of Gears of War 5 is not to remove it, but to add an option where you can toggle that map so... It can come up or down depending on, it's just like a 
how in Gears of War 4 you could toggle that black bar at the bottom, make it toggle for the minimap as well, and let us choose what we want to have on the screen when we're doing our events or our streams, whatever it might be. Now, we just saw the weapon select screen. That's another topic I want to touch on. Weapon select screen, um, it's good for players, for people like myself that have been playing the game for a while to understand the game. But again, I want to go more towards the new viewer aspect here of Gears of War and talk about those new viewers. So with the weapon select screen, it shows you the team picking, the first team and the second team. And it shows you that they're placing or upgrading, et cetera, et cetera. But it doesn't show you the available options that player has. Now we are going to come to we're going to come to know that by playing the game and watching the game because we're you know hardcore Gears of War fans for a lot of you watching this video. But for new viewers, again, I think maybe something should be added to that weapon select screen where it shows when they're selecting the options they have to select on maybe the side of the screen. Um, I know in the, uh, from a player point of view, when you're selecting, it gives you those options on screen, of course. So I think adding those options kind of show what weapons a player has a choice from, what they can upgrade to, uh, would be really helpful with new viewers because all these add additions to the game and escalation in general for new viewers, it's really daunting. It's, it's a big game mode, a lot of rules, a lot of win conditions. You know, we're trying our best here to explain to people. So the most help you can have on screen during those moments, I think, is really going to make Gears of War 5 kind of uh, take off much easier than it will right now. The last thing I want to touch on, I think, when, in regards to spectator mode as well, is this player card right here. It shows the player respawns. So now we're going over to the let's go, baby, simplicity. Simplicity played good today, by the way. They played a good game. They didn't come, uh, come up with a win, but they played good. But let's get back to the spectator mode now. Switch on over. Player card right there shows your respawns, caps, breaks, eliminations, deaths. Uh, I heard a rumor on Twitter that eliminations is also counting if you get an assist and that player dies, it counts as an elimination. I'm not sure if that's true or not. I don't think that should be the case. I wouldn't mind seeing a, uh, another stat for assist on there. But um, we'll wait to confirm with the coalition and others involved before we kind of jump the gun on that one. But the player card here, um, in Gears of War 4, like I said earlier, when they had that black bar on the bottom of the screen, it gave you an option to remove the black bar, move that player card down, and kind of get it out of the way of... of the player character and what's going on. And I hope that option is still in the game. I would love to see this player card move down to the edge of the screen or very close to the edge of the screen. I know we have sponsors right here that are, are great, but we have room for those sponsors on the sides, um, maybe on somewhere else on the screen. We need to, in my opinion, we need to have as much real estate on the screen for the gameplay because it is a complex game and remove so much of the clutter. So again, that involves maybe toggling the minimap, moving down this player card, and the biggest one in my opinion, again, that player life count, having it displayed somewhere where it can be seen easily, and we can read it and kind of uh, digest that as the game goes on. So those are my thoughts on spectator mode, the improvements, I think. Like I said, much uh, it's close to Gears of War 4, so there's not too much, um, too, too much else I can really touch on. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing the player cards be a little different, they kind of took the same player cards from Gears of War 4, but that's already in the game now. That's already done. So I'm not going to comment on, like, change the player cards, add this and that too much because I know the game is pretty much done and that's not going to happen and not going to happen anytime soon if it does. So player cards are here to stay the way they are, I think, pretty much. Now, moving on to the game. I love the addition right here. You see, Cog will win, 56 seconds. I love the addition of having that counter on top for spectators uh, for players, again, I'm kind of indifferent on it. I can go, either go with it or without it. But for spectators, having that number on top where you know when that team's going to win and you can watch and be like, all right, three seconds, four seconds, are they going to get a touch? Are they going to get in? Now I know I don't have to kind of do the math in my head um, to figure out when a team's going to win. So I think that's a great addition to the game and one of the things I liked about Gears of War 5 Showcase today. Also liked the slower pace of the game. You know, we're going under war zone rules now, which means... You can't tap yourself up. You can get uh, killed on the ground from a distance if you go down. So players, and with that added life count of five lives per half, um, it really makes players play for their life, play more cautious, and we're seeing a slower game, which in my opinion is great for viewership. It's easier to follow for new people, players coming in. I mean, I had a friend come in one day. I was playing Gears of War 4, and I'm playing against a bunch of people wall bouncing around in the 30s and... He was like, I'm nauseous. What's going on here? I can't, I can't follow this. And, um, you know, I had to agree with him partially there because it is hard, hard to follow when you have so much bouncing in the game and so much fast movement and players 
not playing smartly. So I do think the movement and pace of the game is really improved in Gears of War 5. Things I love to see, uh, one thing I love to see moving forward. Um, the shotgun. Shotgun, it looks like a mix between core and competitive. But from what I'm seeing, the shotgun, it just works. It looks like it works. Players are dying when you shoot them. There's not a lot of sponging that I saw. Back A seem to be working. So all these things with the shotgun um, that, you know, we kind of have gotten used to with other Gears of War games, the shotgun does seem pretty good right now. No complaints I've seen so far about it. I like it. Players are dying. The shots are hitting. They show the pellet damage when you shoot. So on screen, you have a visual indicator of how many of those shotgun pellets are hitting and how many are not hitting. So with the overall shotgun feel of the game, I think it's pretty good. Uh, less shots in the gun as well. Again, you know, playing for smart shots, not spamming the shots out there. It's moving Gears of War in a, a direction that I like to see. So another great thing I, liked, uh, I saw from Gears of War 5 today. Um... The last thing I'll touch on, it's a small, small thing. It's not even really related to gameplay too much or anything super relevant. But uh, I'm feeling this Omen. I'm feeling the new Omen. I like it. It's now part of Gears of War Esports. They went away, I guess, from the old logo, old Omen. Now we have this brand new one. We have a new company coming in to run the circuit this year. They've already announced a pro league. They've announced um, uh, online stuff, new regions, amateur. Not into specifics yet, but... Uh, plenty, plenty of big things coming from Gears of War Esports, and I'm looking forward to it, and I uh, hope you guys are too. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and pretty much wrap this video up. To recap, if, you're, if you kind of missed it, I like the game, the direction it's headed. I would like to see all of those, or at least most of those, the important ones on the spectator mode improved. I really think that's something that need, it needs to happen. Not that I really want it to happen. That needs to happen. We need to have those things displayed on screen for viewers to make it much easier. Because like I said, Escalation is a daunting task with all these new rules and additions. Um, I think it's the, the entry, to, entry to enter the game now for a new viewer is even more difficult than Gears of War 4. So I think anything we can do to kind of, you know, make that easier on them will be great. And hopefully Coalition and company listen to player feedback and viewer feedback and make those changes to spectator mode and give us overall a great gears of war 5 viewing experience so that wraps it up for me once again i am deluxe i'll be coming out with more gears of war 5 content uh gears of war 5 events all good stuff coming up here as gears of war 5 is set to release september we'll see you there thank you for tuning in please like and subscribe if you can and we'll see you out on the battlefield baby let's do this